Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I spent the weekend going through this book. Brian, you were the co-author, of course. Don't go to the cosmetics yeah. counter without me. I went through this and discovered that my face wash is basically a detergent. My moisturizer is not moisturizing. <laughs> no, no. I know. Honestly, <laughs> sometimes I through, it's bad news. I know. I kept thinking, you know, what else do I use that it, I'm throwing my money away? So um, there's a out, lot of bad products out there. But but we don't know that, right? We Ex go to the drugstore, and and how are we possibly supposed to know that? Exactly. Right? Exactly. exactly yeah. And actually, I want to get to this quickly because you have an interesting story about uh, products. I understand about how you got involved uh, with Paula and why you're, you, you feel so passionate about this book. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, when I was a teenager, I had terrible acne, and I didn't know what to do about it. I went straight to the department store thinking that they had the answer. I didn't want to bother with drugstore stuff. Because if it's cheap, it's not working. That's exactly. Like your mentality, that, that right? That was exactly yeah. what I was thinking. And none of the products really helped. In fact, a lot of them made my skin even worse. So in desperation, I found Paula's book one day, and I was maybe 14, 15 years old, and I started reading it, and I thought, wow. This is really different information. I'm going to give her advice a try and see what happens. And my skin got better, like a lot better and, and pretty fast. And fast forward to the future. And now you know what she's on her, uh, you guys, I should say, are both on your ninth edition and yeah. you're contributing toward this. Yeah, so before yeah. people this summer go out and consider products that they maybe should be mm -hmm, buying, mm -hmm. is there something that we need to be removing before we start filling up our cabinet? You with know, at stuff? this time of year, when we start seeing more sunlight, when we start wearing less clothing because it's warmer outside, you want to, the one thing you need to check mm -hmm. is your sunscreen. You want to make sure that it hasn't expired. They they do they do expire. Those so what does that mean when they expire? They they actually are not working. Like they're not helping you whatsoever. I wouldn't say that. It, yeah, I wouldn't say down. that they yeah. stop working altogether. But they're not as effective as as they once were. And all of them in Canada and the United States, they should have an expiration date printed somewhere on the label. Um, other cosmetic type products, cleansers, moisturizers, eye creams, don't. So the one way you need to uh, determine whether or not those products should be tossed is to look for an odor change, uh, a texture change. If if you're noticing some color, sometimes maybe color, is that yep. one. Yeah, color, sometimes it changes. Color yeah. change, or like with a liquid makeup, a foundation. If you're seeing some separation, mm -hmm. that's ten, not a good sign unless it you separates. You can't just shake it to get through. No. Uh, you, you, you can, you can, but the look may not be what yeah. you want. Okay, well, we'll get to these. First off, I'm hearing so much about BB creams. What, what is a BB cream and do we need one? Um, no, you don't need one. No, okay. Uh, essentially... And why should we even bother? BB creams, BB creams are all the rage right now. Uh, the BB stands for either blemish balm or beauty balm, depending on who's selling the product. There are some great ones out there. There, yeah, there, there really are. What should we be looking for? Because you've obviously selected two of your favorites here. I did. I did. I found uh, there's one from Mac, the Prep Plus Prime. I can never say that right. Beauty Balm with SPF <laughs> 35. Yes. That is a great one. And then this one from Revlon, their Photo Ready with SPF 30. They're pretty much good options for all skin types, but more so normal to slightly dry combination skin. Uh, what you want to look for in a BB cream is sunscreen, at least SPF 15, more is better. You want to look for uh, additional beneficial ingredients like vitamin C or other antioxidants. Otherwise, they essentially provide color, sun protection, and a bit of coverage, just like a tinted moisturizer. Okay, I want to get to this one here, exfoliants. Okay. Another thing, do we need to exfoliate or is washing your face just enough? All skin types can benefit from regular exfoliation, whether you have breakouts, whether you're concerned about signs of aging, or whether you just have a rough, uneven skin texture. And a lot of us like scrubs. Ditch the scrub, these are better. So what's the difference? Um, well, a scrub is rinsed off and pretty much only does the surface mm -hmm. of, your, of your skin, mm -hmm. whereas these types of exfoliants, they, we have this one from Philosophy, it's their Clear Days Ahead, and then the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Treatment, those are both medicated with an ingredient called salicylic acid. That exfoliates on skin surface. But you see an acne medication a lot of times. Yes, yes but it yeah. has anti-aging benefits mm. too and anti-redness benefits. So it's a really great multifunctional ingredient. You can read these reviews at cosmeticscop.com for both, all actually all of these products, but the BHA, salicylic acid exfoliants, work on the surface like a scrub, but they also get inside the pore, so they're great for clogged pores, for breakouts, for blackheads, for aging. They can stimulate collagen production, and then for people with, like, for example, rosacea, mm -hmm. they help reduce redness. Okay, my mind is blown, and we've only just skimmed the surface, so uh, if you want to win... so much to say. I know! So There's if you so want to win say. this book, uh, head to our Facebook page where we have asked our viewers what is the, the, the product that you just can't live without. There's already about a hundred different people that have uh, already entered, so we will randomly cool. select if you want to win. What's the, what's the one thing that people should be using? And I'm going to guess it's sunscreen. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah it, I, it's not, it's not, uh, it's, it's not, not a sexy, cream, it's, it's not, not yeah. fun, but it is, is the it number one thing you can do to prevent further signs of aging and also to help get rid of signs of aging that you have now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're already using other products for that, right? Certainly. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. Again, cosmeticscop.com or our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. We have news, weather, and traffic coming up next.